Alrighty guys, here we go, another live trading session. Now, I'm already in a trade and I just want to walk you through this as I go. This is one of those trades that you get to find halfway through the day. It is now 15.26 my time, which means it's about 10.30 New York time. And I found this stock TCAT on the scanner here. It came up first, I showed you this before. Now I'm already 10,000 shares in and there's a there's a reason behind that. First of all, it's going crazy guys. Um, it gapped up. There's major squeeze happening as we speak. And obviously if this stock came up on my scanner, then it's not just my eyeballs looking at it. It's other eyeballs, other traders, other retailers. So 50% of institutions are holding or 40% of institutions are holding this stock. Um, so it is a very, very heavily manipulated uh, stock obviously by retailers and yeah your job is to trade based on what you see now i've already made a trade on this but i'm in again with another trade this time even a larger position um and i just want to walk you through it i mean the way i found it was simple through t you know just a scanner here which a lot of you would have on your brokers or you can find yourself a free scanner so tcat here came up third on the scanner and i was uh, you know, just filtering through to see if there's any spikes happening. And I got to see this green candle popping. And yeah, I, I rode it up to here, took some profits, actually gave up, gave back some profits. But now we're back in into this trade. Um, I actually alerted the team with this as well. So a lot of you guys watching, if you're on the inside, well, that's how I found this stock was through this scanner, guys. Um, this is a penny stock. And the way you trade penny stock is based on momentum. Now look at the level twos here going crazy. Um, <laughs> that just shows you the order book, how many people are buying, how many people are selling. And it seems like there's going to be even more buying pressure with this stock. Now I'm already up on this trade, 4,000. Um, let me just write something here to the team. All right. Yeah, so it, it's going crazy, guys. Uh, it's a penny stock. This is an example of a runner. You can see it's up on the day 46%. There's nothing stopping this stock from going to 100%. But again, you will have hurdles at each phase of this trade, i.e. you will have a big spike, you know, uptrend, then a correction, then consolidation, then, you know, a further spike. And that's just the way penny stocks behave. I spoke too soon. I went from 5,000 to 3,000. But hey, you're asking, why don't you take profit? Well, I'm already up on the day, guys. Now it's just a matter of, yeah, winging it, you can say. But you can't wing something once you've experienced it, you know, a thousand times. This is something that comes up time and time again. Um, these big runners, big gappers. Um, I wanted just to record as we go. I wasn't going to make a video for you guys today, but I thought this would be a great example to trade such penny stocks because you will see such behaviors in the stock market time and time again. Now, here guys, when you see a big red candle, you will, will follow up usually by green because here a lot of people get scared. But then because this stock has been to the top rank number one on the scanner, that means there's a lot of eyeballs, but that's not enough. You have to obviously have to see if it's uptrending. Okay, if we just look to the four hour chart here, you can see the squeeze is happening because of this, because of this. This, this could go to $12 if it wanted to. Um, this is the 7th of, so this is July. Okay, let's, let's hope it doesn't get halted. Anyways, let's go back. Yeah, here we go, guys. Another green following up soon. You're going to see this candle break above this candle. Now, usually you would add more shares here. But here is the green. It's about to break. Now, we can go anywhere with this trade. It's the highest. It is a choppy day. So you can see all traders are going to be focused on this trade. This is another home run, guys. Another home run. Amazing, 7,000, 8,000. Yeah, it's going parabolic. These are the kind of trades we pray for at times. And I just wanted to share it with you as I go. That's why there's no face in this video. 
Let's see. Now, should we take profit? Alrighty. Let's cap it soon. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty, 10,000, guys. 10,000 trade on this. What a sick trade. <laughs> By the way, this is the same trade I actually alerted you guys. Uh, alerted you guys with. Let's see. Let's see where I alerted. Yeah, here we go. A lot of you took advantage of this one and alerted it back into the sevens. Now, let's just look at TCAT here, guys. Now, I walked away maybe prematurely, but what the hell, right? It is what it is. Because the table is getting hot now. What a crazy trade this is. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited for this. Yeah, you can't you can feel my heartbeat, but... That's how we trade these parabolic moves. These are such a risky, such a risky trades, guys. So, held by institutions. What? Wait a minute. TCAT, held by institutions. 0.75%. That explains it, guys. That explains it. See, when you, if you go to Yahoo Finance, guys, and just pick a stock, type it here, go to statistics, all right, and just look at the stable money that is holding this stock. And this is the stable money institutions 0.75%, which means less than a percent of stable monies in that stock. Obviously, you're going to have a parabolic moves like this. So that means only 44% of uh, insiders, the CEO and whatnot, have shares of that stock. And then they issue shares to the public. And then retailers decide to play around with those, uh, with those shares. <laughs> and that's why such parabolic moves happen, guys, in such stocks. Now, it's still going. It's still going, guys. It is the first on, on, at the top here. Um, but yeah, well done to these, to these guys who took advantage of this. Good job, guys. You know, I know I haven't been active as much. But uh, I love you too, buddy. You know, these come every now and then. Now, to the public, remember, penny stocks are risky. They're very rewarding if you know how to trade them. But they're very risky. If you want, you can trade them. Trade them if you have balls. Otherwise, just focus on high cap stocks but it's simple the way i found this trade was i looked at the scanner that i have it came up it was third here on the list and it started making its way up to the second and that triggers alarms guys you know when you when you see such stocks climbing upwards it just shows you that these stocks have actual volume and volatility so there's eyeballs focused on them and those are the stocks that usually go for home runs and end up spiking um, and again, I found this 30 minutes into stock market open. I actually found it about here. That's how I found that stock right about here. Okay. But yeah, that's me done, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, hopefully those who followed in uh, made some dough as well. But yeah, don't be blinded by the reward, guys. There could be potential heavy losses if, if you get stuck here or you get stuck um, at, a, at a halt. But luckily, there's no halt with this, not yet anyways. But you will see more of these going forward. And that's me done. Peace and love, and I'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Don't forget that smashy smashy. <laughs>